Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are making lotion bars using lavender infused shea butter. <laughs> I love making lotion bars because they are so easy to use. They're also really great sellers if you have them in your product line. They're also a really great product to have this time of year because dry hands. <laughs> and I really love putting them in these types of containers, these plastic deodorant tubes because it dispenses the lotion bar super easily and you get zero mess on your hands. We're actually also going to be infusing the shea butter ourselves using the Levo 2 machine. So I'll show you how easy and quick and simple that is. So if you wanna see how this whole thing comes together, then keep watching. So before I can make my lotion bars, the first step is going to be diffusing my shea butter. And like I mentioned, I'm going to be using the Levo 2 machine. And since it's Black Friday, Levo has an amazing deal right now where you can get 15% off your order if you spend a minimum of $200 using the code HAL15, H-O-L-15. Check out my link down below to scoop this machine up for yourself or gift it to someone special this Christmas. And it is so easy to use. You just pop open the lid and you have this container that I'm going to be putting my lavender buds into. My lavender buds are gonna go into here. I'm gonna put on my top, put it into the machine. I'm gonna put it into the reservoir and then add my shea butter into the reservoir. I'll close the lid, I'll set it and then forget it and it will take between one and a half to two hours to diffuse the shea butter and then I will dispense it out of the spout once it's done. So the Levo machine is going to infuse my shea butter with the lavender for about 2.5 hours at 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Once that's done, then I'll be able to dispense the melted shea butter into a beaker and then store it for my use. Another cool feature about the Levo is that I can put in that butter hard. I don't have to melt it before I put it into the receptacle or the reservoir to infuse it. And I just really think this machine makes infusion so simple and so easy. I definitely know that there are other ways to do it, but for me, I don't have a lot of time. We're in the middle of a big move here. And this is the way that works for me. <laughs> so I'll see you once that infusion is done and then we'll go from there. Hey guys, we are back two hours later and the shea butter is done infusing. I'm going to empty it out into a beaker and we will move along with making our lotion bar. So I have my lavender infused shea butter over here and when I smell it, it smells very, very mildly of lavender, just, just a hint of it. But of course the point of infusing butters and oils is not to scent them with the herb, but to glean as many benefits as possible from the herb into the oil or butter. And that's what we've done here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and measure out the rest of my ingredients and then melt them over the stove. And then of course add my lavender infused shea butter to this recipe and I'll show you what that looks like all together. All of the snow in this winter land used to look so pretty Now making me moody In the deep woods alone with my fields Spent too much time thinking In the end you'll be so what we're going to do now is take the space and melt it over the stove top at a medium heat in a water bath until everything is completely melted. And then we're gonna hold it at that state, at that temperature for another 20 minutes to help ensure that we don't get that graininess that shea butter sometimes gets when it's melted down. And then once that is all melted, I'm going to add my fragrance oil and then we're going to pour it into the tubes. Today's lotion bar will be scented with black, amber, and lavender. This is an incredibly soothing scent, and it's definitely a scent that I think a lot of people don't mind having on their skin for a while, and that's really what you want when you're scenting your lotions or your lotion bars or any leave-on product, is to ensure that the scent you are using is not going to irritate not only the person wearing them, but the people around you. We're also going to be adding the littlest bit of vitamin E to this lotion bar to add that extra nourishing factor, which we all need during those really cold winter months. So we now have our completely melted base in this measuring cup. And what I'm gonna do is just carefully pour it into the deodorant tube. And I have this 
tray that I got from the Levo Ultimate Bundle, which will take any extra overflow. And I can just have a little square of lotion bar that I can use or give away to someone. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, but first, before I do that, I'm going to add my fragrance oil and my vitamin E oil to um, Melted Base. So after adding my fragrance oil and vitamin E to the base, I mix for about two minutes to really bind the oils to the fragrance oil. And now I'm going to pour my base into my deodorant tube. And I do have some extra over here, so I'm gonna pour it into my silicone tray that I got from Levo. And so we're going to let this now set for a few minutes because right now, if I were to move this into the fridge, which is what I'm gonna do next, it's really, really liquid and I'm really risking the liquid to fall over the edges and make a big mess. So I'm gonna let it solidify for just a little bit and then once it's in a semi-solid state, then I'm going to put it into the fridge and let it dry, oh sorry, let it solidify um, for a few hours. But this guy, my tray, I can put into the fridge right away because there's not really much chance of it spilling. It's a pretty solid tray, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And the next time I see you guys, I'm gonna show you what this looks like completely solid. So it's been about an hour since I poured the lotion bar base into the push tube or the deodorant stick, the plastic tube thing. And it is completely solid now, as well as the overflow, the extra lotion bar that I poured into the Levo cube tray. So I'm gonna show you what those look like right now. Here is the finished product. And with these handy tubes, you can just twist it and it will dispense your lotion bar up so that you can apply it to your skin and it's just a simple matter of applying it right on your skin and you can see after i've put it on there you can see how you can really apply it to the areas that really need the moisture for in my case i have psoriasis so i can put it right on the spot and I don't have to have any messy fingers at all. And I can leave it there and it will be absorbed by my skin over time, or I can rub it in easily. And it just leaves a nice, silky, smooth finish. And the smell is just amazing. That vanilla and lavender together, it just smells so soothing. Perfect for winter time. And when I'm done, I could just pop it into my purse or put it in my car's dash and it will be fine. If you are in a climate that's a little bit hotter, then these guys might melt on you, so I would not keep them in your car if it's a nice sunny hot day outside. But for the fall, winter, and spring months, this uh, lotion bar should stay solid. And now for the extra that I made. So in this tray, I had the little cube in there and I just pop it up because it's a silicone tube it makes it super easy to pop your lotion bar cube out and it looks like this and this is actually really cute um the bottoms have these little imprints and you can see that this is a plant leaf and I think that's really adorable but these little bars you can wrap up in tissue paper or in a paper bag and also keep with you as a nice eco-friendly way to get moisture without the plastic. And just like with the tube, you rub it on your spots that need it and lightly rub it in. <laughs> and I also wanted to quickly mention that one ingredient that I did not include in my formula is a preservative. Because there is no water in my lotion bar recipe, this recipe is anhydrous and doesn't require a preservative. This could look like this and smell like this and apply just like this for quite some time. It has a shelf life of about a year and it shouldn't go moldy on you in that time period. So if you wanna make this lotion bar recipe for yourself, you can do that. I'll have the full recipe and steps 
in my Patreon, which is linked in my description box below. Speaking of my Patreon, thank you to my patrons. You guys are incredibly supportive. I appreciate each and every one of you, especially my bubble BFFs, my fellow business owners. I've linked a few of their amazing businesses in my description box below. Feel free to check them out. And that is it. If you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Until the next one, keep smiling, keep being awesome, and keep making beautiful things like lavender infused lotion bars. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.